Kansas City Chiefs tax returns provide rare look inside the business of pro football, Kansas City star the Chiefs and the team's owners almost certainly make much more money today, thanks to television revenues that have been soaring ever since. But it's hard to know for sure, because the finances of NFL teams are largely a mystery. Only the Green Bay Packers disclose their numbers, and then only because they are publicly owned. Team financial records rarely become public, said Roger G. Noel, an emeritus professor of economics at Stanford University and an expert on the business of pro sports, and I am not aware of any recent repeat of what happened in McNeil, 2018 in a nutshell, one season defining play for all 32 NFL teams, NFL Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes no look past week 14 versus. Ravens could select just about any Mahomes pass from the entire year, but let's go with the no look. Sometimes, the most obvious pick is the right one. Like Becky Lynch was the obvious choice to win the Royal Rumble, but that didn't make the payoff any less satisfying. So we will go with this mind-bending delivery, as Mahomes set the league on fire during his MVP campaign. Several Chiefs etched their names in the record books in 2018. Chiefs.com team notes, the Chiefs offense scored 565 points last season, which were the third most in NFL history behind only the 2013 Denver Broncos, 606, and 2007 New England Patriots, 589. Kansas City scored 30 or more points a franchise record 12 times in 2018 and became the first team in NFL history to score at least 26 points in every game. Twelve different players caught a touchdown pass for Kansas City last season. AFC offseason storylines to follow, Le'Veon Bell's next move, John Gruden's NFL draft Paul Moore, Sports Illustrated Chiefs personnel changes under the Steve Spagnola defense, the Chiefs have one fantastic edge rusher set to hit the market and top $80 million in D. Ford, and another in Justin Houston who is entering a decent out year should the Chiefs be interested in totally restructuring their defense. Steve Spagnuolo's preference for a 4-3 to three shouldn't alarm Chiefs fans, but the personnel needed to execute his post-snap, fast-break defense may give this secondary a markedly different feel heading into 2019. Some corners to watch in the NFL Draft, 610 Sports Radio's Jay Binkley Here is a look at some of the corners coming out in the NFL Draft. The Chiefs should have a chance at several. But are the corners in this draft as good as past years? My mocks to come out after combine. How well do you remember the year in the NFL? ESPN we got Gian Gruden's return to the Oakland Raiders, where he just went and traded everyone, not literally. We saw Kansas City Chiefs QB Patrick Mahomes take over the league with sidearm, underarm, right-handed and even left-handed passes. But how much of this year do you remember? Take the quiz, looking back at the 10 most memorable storylines of the 2018 NFL season, Sports Illustrated The Mahomes vs. Breeze MVP debate The final MVP vote wasn't all that close, Patrick Mahomes received 41 votes, compared to Drew Breeze's 9. But there was a point, probably three quarters of the way through the season, when Mahomes and Breeze were neck and neck. Hallmark releasing Patrick Mahomes ornament, itty bitty toy to celebrate Chiefs QB, Fox 4 Kansas City to celebrate the Chiefs quarterback, an NFL MVP, Hallmark is releasing a Patrick Mahomes, itty bitty, as well as a keepsake ornament. The itty bitty comes with a Mahomes jersey and his signature headband and hairdo, and it will fit in the palm of your hand. The KC-based company said it's hoping to connect with fans through the Chiefs' success. We wanted to celebrate a hometown hero through Patrick Mahomes through the great season he had, said Reese Loring with Hallmark. Around the league source, NFL owners' approval of Raiders to SF would set bad precedent, NBC Sports' San Francisco Mayor London Breed spoke out Tuesday against the possibility of the Raiders playing one season at the Giants' ballpark. The mayor expressed concerns about the additional congestion the Raiders would bring to the area, which is already impacted by the Giants, the Warriors Arena, set to open next season, and ongoing construction. Titans DNPs on Super Bowl, it was gorgeous, NFL, it was gorgeous, P said, via the team's official website. 
The only thing better than that would have been 6-3, there is a pig for every sigh. Super Bowls like Sundays automatically lead to cues about how defenses win championships. I was told that top 11 scoring offenses in the NFL all time have never won a Super Bowl, Pease said. That's an interesting stat. That speaks to defense. Donald Penn, Khalil Mack trade took a toll on guys. NFL, no matter what nobody says, we tried to overcome it. But when you trade your best player away in the beginning of the year, it takes a toll on guys, Penn told NFL Network's Lindsey Rhodes. Whether they say it or not, we fought through it. We tried to stay together. It was a tough season. Which team made the best head coaching hire? Ranking NFL's eight new head coaches, Yahoo Sports pick Fangio, Denver Broncos. I like this hire, because the Broncos weren't going to do better. Denver has an uncertain quarterback situation, a frightening ownership situation, a general manager in John Elway who casts a huge shadow over the organization, and yet fans expect a big winner every year. It's a lot tougher job right now than most people have admitted. The Broncos could have gotten the 5th or 6th best McVay clone, but they went in a completely opposite direction and hired a good defensive coach who is finally getting his first head coaching shot at 60. There's always uncertainty with a first-time head coach, but Fangio clearly knows football. Matt Slauzen retires after 10 NFL seasons, ESPN Slauzen started at right guard for the Indianapolis Colts last season, through Week 5 before a broken back ended his season. Slauzen played in that Week 5 game against the New England Patriots with two fractured vertebrae in his spine. He was later diagnosed with the injury and coach Frank Reich called him, tough as nails, Steelers, Redskins among teams facing offensive identity, crisis, NFL the Rams strayed from what got them to this point, a consistent running game and a prolific play-action attack. Hopefully, McVay and this young Rams offense will learn from Sunday's mistakes and get back to their identity in 2019. The Rams were by no means the only team to lose its way on offense by season's end. Here are five other units suffering from an offensive identity crisis heading into the offseason, in case you missed it at Arrowhead Pride Chiefs free agency preview, five safeties to watch sleeper safety Phillips has received more and more responsibility as his career has gone on and has responded accordingly. A pure strong safety type that played a lot of pseudo linebacker for the Los Angeles Chargers last year, Phillips is a physical run defender who embraces contact. His ability in space and in-man coverage isn't as adept as most on this list, but he's far from awful. He will likely be retained in LA, but if he by chance hits the market, teams looking for physical, run-defending safeties can find a bargain. Dixon's Arrowhead Pride Mailbag, Chiefs Free Agents, Tony G, Sonic and James Bond I think Houston will remain with the team for one more season. Like Ford, he seems to have a role available to him in Spagnolia's scheme, and while he's not the disruptive force we saw in previous seasons, he's still an effective player. Given the Chiefs' current cap situation, it will be hard to simply release him. Restructuring his contract will kick the can further down the road, and that's how the Chiefs got into this mess in the first place. If I'm Brett Veach, I wins and pay the man his money for one more season, as long as Spagnuolo wants him around. Patrick Mahomes drops new merchandise with never-before-seen logo on his website The Mahomes Inspired Swag Items, which include t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies and onesies, feature a never-before-seen PMII logo design, graphics with Mahomes stats and nicknames such as Showtime and MVPAT, bolded across the front, a collection of Mahomes illustrations and more. New report shows NFL, Chiefs a television over everything business and unlike in other leagues, such as the MLB, the NFL shares the revenue from its television contract. That number was nearly $100 million in 2010 and has since gone up nearly 150%, per the report. The Chiefs made a total of $302 million in 2010, meaning a third of the revenue came from television money.
Follow Arrowhead Pride on social media AP Facebook page, click here to like our page AP Instagram, follow at Arrowhead Pride AP Twitter, follow at Arrowhead Pride AP Editor-in-Chief, Pete Sweeney, follow at PG Sween 610 Sports Twitter, follow at 610 Sports KC.